Hey guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three things you should be washing at least on a weekly basis. And if you're up for it, let's get started. Okay guys, today's video, I'm going to share with you three things you should be washing at least, at least once a week. Okay? At least once a week. You know, I know I, if you're like me, you like to watch these clean with me videos. I love watching those. I don't know what it is about those videos. You know, I don't know if it's the voyeurism in me that, that wants to look into somebody's home to see what they're doing. I don't know what it is, but it, it kind of, um, it does give me some motivation. It does give me motivation sometimes to get up and clean, but, um, there are three things I want to share with you that you should be cleaning at least, at least once a week in your home. All right. And let me show you what they are. Okay. The first thing that you should be cleaning at least once a week, washing at least once a week are your bedding your sheets, your pillowcases, your blankets, at least once a week, at least. Um, especially if you're co-sleeping with someone or something like a pet, some kind of animal, um, you should be, should be cleaning your stuff at least once a week. Um, on, I do myself on Wednesdays and I just get up and I just strip the bed of everything and take it down to the laundry and wash everything on hot hot. Um, and I've been doing this. I, I, I don't know how long I've been doing this, but it's especially important if you're co-sleeping, as I said, it's especially important if you're co-sleeping, the bacteria that's in your sheets, uh, the dust mites and what have you that are there, you really need to clean them. Um, I talk a little bit about this on my blog, and I thought, well, you know what? That got such a good response. Why didn't I tell people on my YouTube channel about it? So here I am telling you about it um, at least once a week, at least once a week. Um, wash your sheets. Wash your sheets, girl. Wash your sheets. Um, let me insert a little bit more information about that. Oh, while we're on the subject, who makes their bed once a, uh, every day? Who makes their bed once every day? I make my bed every day. Do you? Do you make your bed every day? I talked about this on my blog as well. All right. The second thing you should be cleaning or washing at least once a week are your towels. Your towels. Go into your bathroom and get those towels out of there. Now, some people wash theirs um, more than that. Kudos to you. But at least, at least once a week grab those towels out of the bathroom and throw those things into the wash now now this is not sponsored but i like game and i i don't know I, I probably got this from my mother because she liked game so i really like game hubby on the other hand loves his tide loves his tie so we have both um I think I was I had an allergic reaction to Tide many years ago, so I don't really um, go back to that. But at least on a weekly basis, grab those towels out of that bathroom and wash those things at least once a week. Um, I know some people will uh, change out their uh, towels uh, daily or what have you, but you don't want to let anything wet or anything sit in your hamper for, for um, obvious reasons. But at least wash those towels once a week, please. Or not to scare you, but if you're into science or anything like that, uh, you may already know this, but a big, big factor of why you should be cleaning these things are bacteria, bacteria. Let me read something to you first. I'm going to read a few lines from a few articles on dust mites and bacteria. Dust mites are everywhere. They are microscopic little creatures 
that live on your bedding and carpets and feed on your skin because you know you, you shed uh, dead skin cells every night. And if you're allergic, they can cause watery, red eyes, runny or itchy nose and sneezing, sore throat or hoarse voice, coughing and other breathing problems, skin rash and itching and worsening of your asthma. And the third thing that you should wash are your kitchen towels. Go into your kitchen and take your kitchen towels, your kitchen um, uh, towels and dishcloth, if you use, use a dishcloth, and wash those things at least once a week. I just do a sweep. Strip the bed, go into the bathroom, make my way to the kitchen, grab those towels and, and a dishcloth and, and wash everything, boom, boom, boom. And I sleep a lot better. I sleep a lot better. Um, and here's some articles on, um, on dishcloths. Which household item is dirtier than the toilet? 60% of dishcloths harbor life-threatening bacteria. And that's an article in the uh, UK's Daily Mail. Ooh. Researchers found E. coli and other bacteria on dish towels in a study. You may want to rethink how you've been using your kitchen towels. Um, a new study suggests that dish towels are teeming with bacteria that could potentially cause food poisoning, food poisoning and other foodborne illnesses. This one article says that dishcloths are no better than sponges, but recommends that you, in order to clean your dish rags, fill a pot with water, bring it to a boil, add the dirty rags to the boiling water, boil for 15 minutes. The boiling water will kill any mold, mildew, bacteria, and germs that may be on the cloth. After boiling, wash and dry as normal. The cloth will be sanitized and smell fresh. Now, I don't do that, but I do clean mine in um, a hot water cycle, and that gets done on a weekly basis. So I'm trying to do the best that I can with these uh, things to stay ahead of the bacteria, dust mites, and all the other things that are out there. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, I want to put some information in here about um, the... Oh, I think I'm starting to itch. I want to put some information in here uh, about dust mites and what have you. And if you're interested, go on to my blog at lifeongreenwood.com and read a little bit more uh, where I talk about um, why I do these things once a week and why you should do these things at least once a week. So those are the three things, the three things that you should be cleaning or washing at least once a week. Let me have your feedback uh, below. Let me know how you feel about this. And if um, you have anything else that you could think of that you should be washing at least, at least once a week, at least once a week. If you can come up with anything else, those are the three things that I know that I grab at least once a week and they get, they get done. If nothing else gets done, those are getting done at least once a week. Okay, so I hope this was helpful to you and leave me some comments below. Um, if you're new here, I'm usually talking about thrifting and um, doing some upcycling of furniture and painting and a little lifestyle stuff here and there. So if you're up for that, then by all means, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the fam. And for my returning friends, thank you so, so much. Hey, by the way, speaking of thrifted, this is a thrifted dress that I think I picked up earlier this year. And I love the neckline. It's giving me a, it's showing a little cleavage. Uh, and I ain't mad at it. All right, guys, thanks so much. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.